Hello, good morning. My name is Muhammad Farel Sudira from Group 2, and my other group member, the first one is Ang Ang Yun Hui, second Nur Khadira, and third is Winner Tishalom. Today, we gonna present our group project with the title The Force Acting on a Lawn Mower. The application and concept. The application and concept is here we gonna learn on how we use the lawn mower with the most efficient ways that we can do. The first one is the system. The force that involves the first one is the weight of the lawn mower. The weight is around 200 newton. The second, the force that applied by the person who used the lawn mower is 100 newton. And the second one is the frictional force around 40 newton with the coefficient of friction we sum it around 0.2 and also the normal force then and the normal force letter will calculate it at The second is the physical law and the principle that we use on how we find the resultant of the force that involved on this uh, lawn mower operation. The Newton's law of motion is the formula that we use to find the resultant of the force. All right, I will explain about how we analyze it. The resultant force in this system. Basically, we use Cartesian vector to analyze and resolve all the force into a Cartesian form. We resolve the force applied to the lawn mower into x axis and y axis, which is the force one F one. The F two, which is the Frictional force is acting on the x-axis, so it's on a positive x-axis. The normal force is, is calculated from the formula of frictional force, which is F equals to mu n. The n can be calculated, then we get 200. The weight is acting on the negative y-axis. Which is negative two hundred. By this, we calculating it by adding up all this force. We get a total force of F X and F Y. Then we can calculate the resultant force. By using the formula of square root f x squared plus f y squared, then we get around eighty point three six newton of the resultant force acting on the system. The direction of the resultant force can be calculated using the formula of inverse tangent of f y over f x, which, after calculator, we get. Seventy-two point four one degree from the negative x-axis. So, in a conclusion, from this calculation, we know that the lawn mower able to move forward with the force applied of hundred newton. Using this calculation, we can know the minimum force that can push the system forward. With a suitable direction. In the conclusion, with the suitable direction, the system can move forward with a minimum force after calculating it. By the way, to save more energy, the user can move the system by pulling it because this can reduce the the frictional force between 
the system and the surface contact. So that's all from our group. Thank you everyone.